All right, so good day, everyone. Or me or something. Uh, uh my moods continue to go downwards since yesterday, unfortunately. And uh, yeah, I'm just not feeling that good at the moment. It's uh, Christ's Ascension Day, or whatever it's called in other countries. I'm not Christian, so I don't care. Really, no one in Sweden is uh, Christian enough to care. We're pretty agnostic or atheist, everyone. We just, we just have a church to give money to or something, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Happiness is overrated, I guess. Because I have not felt that happy in a very long time now. And, uh, yeah. I don't know why, but it just feels like life isn't fair. I... I've given up on the exam on 12th June since I don't feel <laughs> that I'm at a place where I can focus enough at the moment, unfortunately. I tried, but it was to no avail. I did not manage to overcome this Perceive about what I'm having. I really don't know what uh, uh, caused it this time. It just came, and I'm going to break my nail here. Oh no. Uh, yeah, things just started feeling. Like they were whatever, I don't care anymore. I think it's has to do with the weather since it's not been that great weather in a while now. And it's also that I haven't received the response to everything that I hoped I would. I mean I've talked about this before about how much I've wanted my father to accept and understand and treat me as I want and how he's not done that. And I think that's one of the major reasons why I'm not feeling good at the moment. Of course, I can't blame everything on him. It has to do with me as well. I could not manage to do things when I wanted to, and uh, then things just went too far, and now I'm here in a darker place again. Uh, I'm not suicidal at the moment, but uh, I've had uh, my bulimic uh, periods now, the last few three days, and uh, I know that it's not good for my health to do that, it's not beneficial in any way, but I, it's just a way for me to relieve my bad mood. And yeah, unfortunately I'm not going to, I don't see any light at the end of the tunnel at the moment. Or if there is a light, it's, the, it's a train, you know, a cliché way of saying that. Uh, yeah. So, I bought this shirt. Uh, I like it. It's a uh, size small. My grandmother thought it was too short on me, but I thought it was quite alright. I am a small in women's clothing, apparently. 
even despite me being 6 1 and 75 kilograms or not 75 74 but it's going in that direction I'm still at 74 kilograms and that's also causing a lot of anxiety unfortunately I'm always hungry uh, I was very tired this morning as well I woke up at like 4 and I just laid in bed and I ate this huge uh, portion of uh, uh, oven baked chicken with cream fresh and uh, light cream and uh, pasta and uh, I just got so, anx uh, so anx anxious about everything that I had to vomit so I did that and after I vomited, I drank like two liters of liquid and uh, ate half a kilogram of pears. And then I weighed myself. No, because I was stupid. And the way the scale said 75.4 kilograms. And I was so angry at myself. And then I just, I actually accidentally took my sleeping pumps instead of my anti-androgens. And uh, I actually fell asleep again and I didn't wake up until 9. And at 9 I went out running. I still have Sora here, you can see he's very lazing around. And uh, I took the dogs out for a brief, you know, just to the dog, I don't think, I think that's a common word in English, and uh, yeah, then I ran, and I ran 11k in 50 minutes, so that's positive, I guess, it actually felt quite alright, And then I did my standard 100 meters spinning, 52 kilometers, 57 kilometers, I'm sorry. So that's alright, I guess. And then what's the movie about a girl that was murdered by another girl? Uh, it starred the actress who played Eowyn in Lord of the Rings. And I also think that it starred the actor who played uh, the man in. Uh, dating the enemy or sleeping with the enemy. A gender bender movie that came out in the nineties. But I'm not sure if it was him. Because the, he looked small, thinner, older. You know, not as that guy, but that movie came out in the 90s, I believe, and this movie was filmed in 2008, so... <coughs> so, as you see, I did not put any pr on any primer today. It's because I really don't have anything planned today, except feeling sorry about myself.
So I I talked a bit with dog yesterday, just on messenger, and uh, he might come down, you know, by midsummer. And I mean, it's hard, you know, because I mean, I've had I had feelings for him for so many years, and uh, now he has a girlfriend and he has a daughter. And I'm here to the press to finish my medical studies. I might have to re repeat uh, term four and five if I don't manage this exam soon because we're going to end that kind of uh, course and do another version. And uh, if you have, haven't passed, you might have to redo the terms. And yeah, that might not be very fun, but what can you do when you are like this? You are you aren't in a state to be able to study properly, unfortunately. And I mean, I really want to. I mean, I've managed the courses that I've taken this year, this spring, and. But I have not found the motivation or ability to focus enough on my medical studies, unfortunately. I mean, I've been so obsessed with exercise and weight and bulimia and my transition and all that. I hope that... Uh, I hoped that things would be better, but no, unfortunately. And uh, I'm just reminded of the Roger Whittaker Witt song, New World in the Morning. Everybody talks about a new world in the morning. New world in the morning, so they say. Well, I, my friend, will talk about a new world in the morning. New world in the morning. Today. I met a man who had a dream he'd had since he was 20. I met that man when he was 89. He said too many foxes stand away until the morning. Don't they know tomorrow never comes? And he would be the new tomorrow coming up. And when he smiles his eyes, smiles his eyes twinkling. And yeah, that's, you know, me singing a crappy version of New World in the Morning. And I wish that I had a better singing voice, but no. I wish that I had a prettier face, but no. I wish that I had a more functional brain, but no, things are not as they should be, unfortunately. Yeah, so, I'm going to end this video here, and I don't know if I'm feeling up to voice training today. I really did not feel up to it yesterday, but I managed to squeeze it out in the last late afternoon last night, yesterday. And yeah, I felt better than what I do now, unfortunately. So I'll just have to see about that. And yeah. Yeah, bye.